Hi again, I'm Kaylee Gwynn, one of your K5 STEM ISDs, and today we're going to talk about day two of your VEXCO Physical Science Lab. So if you completed the unpowered build, that's option B for day one, your students are already going to have a car that looks like this to start off the day. They're going to be using the directions then that say unpowered supercar to supercar. However, if your students didn't have any VEXCO experience and you did an intro lesson yesterday for day one, instead, your students are gonna be starting from scratch with the directions that just say supercar build. I'm gonna model what both of those look like for you. So whichever option you're using with your students, you'll have a little bit of support. So again, if you did just an intro lesson yesterday, you're using supercar build instructions, your students are starting from scratch for their build. If you did this unpowered car yesterday, your students are going to start with this and just add on some pieces to it using the directions that say unpowered supercar to supercar build instructions. Let's go ahead and get started with what today's build will look like.
Congratulations, by this point, you and your students have a wind-up supercar. That's the spot probably where you're gonna stop today because this build will take a little bit of time. But if you have students that finish early, have them start exploring how this wind-up car works. You'll notice there's a wind-up knob on the side. And what that does, is it's going to wrap the rubber band around this middle section to create some tension so that when you let go, that force will propel your car forward. So as I twist it, you'll see it starts to wrap around that middle section there. And when I let go, it's gonna turn my wheels and gears to make my car go. So for day two, we're really focused on just getting a building working wind-up car. On day three is where we're gonna go ahead and take this wind-up car and run some scientific tests with it.